Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again folks and welcome back, it is episode 69 here of our third and final season and today we are going to do a little bit of something silly that I am fairly certain is not going to work and it's probably not going to go very well but it'll be more fun than spending another day killing Scurrius even though that's the more efficient thing to do. So yeah, I'm not going to go kill Scurrius again, I'm going to go, well, unless I change my mind halfway. But I'm not planning to go to Scorius unless I get halfway through the day and I'm like, yeah, this really isn't working. But we will find out the hard way. I'm just going to finish this clue off first, of course. It's just a medium with two steps done already, so we could be about to finish. If not, won't go too much longer. And then I'm going to head over to the Grand Exchange. Another one, Shanty Pass. We can buy that stuff. I guess we'll go to the Grand Exchange now. Shanty Pass. Uh, we got Jeweling Ring on us. We do not. We can get one though. That is easy enough. Wait, wait, wait. No, I should have gone glory. Should have gone glory. Oh well. Imagine this being the Ranger boots. <laughs> Let's will it into existence. I've done enough of these clues by now. I fucking deserve one to go well. Another clue? Do we have that? What is that? Oh my gosh. Are the rat pits? I don't know that we can do that. I can try just going down there. That's really annoying if that is a dead clue. Fairly sure it's up here somewhere. Hopefully we can get in and this guy doesn't stop us, please. Oh no. Wow, we got a dead step there, y'all. That's kind of shit, I'm not gonna lie. Not too many of those that we don't actually have the ability to do. I'm just gonna recharge my prayer actually before get into my shopping. Yeah, that's kind of shit. Okay, we got 1.72 mil. So this is a big investment, 1.2 mil I've just spent and I've probably not got anywhere near as many of these as we'd actually need to even fill an hour. But chin chompers are the thing that I want to give a go. In case we haven't done those. Oh, I forgot we had the cannon to sell as well. That's good. We, could, we should probably just put that up now because I don't see us using it again. They actually sell for 2k each. Put them as well. Okay, what's the gear looking like? Should we get some boots as well? Boots and a coif. Boots are going to be expensive though. We need an Avers. Ah, it's probably worth it. There we go. Okay, so we spent a lot of money here. A lot of money. And like I say, I'm pretty sure it's not actually going to pay off because I don't think this is going to be that viable. But we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a dueling ring, a dig site, and some food. I feel like we're going to need more food, but I also don't have a lot of room. And we're going to send it back over to the armoured zombies, because if I'm going to be spending this much money on chin chompers, I need to at least have a chance of hitting it big on some money to pay for them. Otherwise, it won't be sustainable. And fingers crossed, we just don't take as much damage from the rangers in our ranged armor as we would when we were bursting. Oh, I didn't bring a stamina. But yeah, we don't have bloods to heal up, so that's going to be rough. So far, we haven't taken any damage, so I'm not mad if it continues to be light on the damage front. That's a bit coming in. Oh, definitely should have prayer on. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage now. But, what if we brought super defense? Would we take damage then? I mean, we are apparently getting 200k XP at the minute. An hour, which is obviously really fucking good. But, I 
I just don't know how sustainable it's going to be with the amount of damage we're taking here. Maybe if I brought bloods and just used them to heal up, that could work. I actually feel like a super defense though might be enough to make this feasible. It just means we have less invent space while we're carrying food, but we do eventually use the food, so I do need to try and be efficient the way I'm stacking them up though. I should try my best to always be on top of a ranger really, shouldn't I? So that I can kill them. I would go to my other spot. I was just low run energy when I came in here, so I, I thought I'd just try it here and see how we get on. Don't feel like I'm doing very well stacking them up though. <laughs> We've already gone through almost a hundred. Like, these are so expensive. If we don't get any axe in these first 600, we can't really afford to do any more. <laughs> I'm just glad to see that the XP rate is actually high. Even if it's not a sustainable thing, at least we'll be getting some value for the money that we spent. And who knows, maybe we even get a level today. Although, as it stands, I think we'd run our chin jumpers way before then. I mean, the XP rate is dropping. I'm guessing that's just because my range level's dipping with the potions. But I'm thinking I'm gonna go get some super defenses, so I might also get divine range pots while I'm there. Man, there is a lot of XP between these levels at this point. 150k to the next level still, or 12% of the way. I think I should tell you. Okay, mixed feelings so far. We're gonna grab ourselves some divine potions and some super defenses. And have another crack though. I'm not giving up on this when I see the potential of this amount of XP. I might already have some of these in the bank, I'm not even sure. Uh, divine super, just one super, please. Where'd they go? It's your boss, damn. Again, forgot. I think I'm gonna go back to my other spot though, because I do prefer it around the corner. I just know the spawn's better as well. I accidentally tanked a double dose of uh, super defense, but... I mean, so far the super defense doesn't seem to be helping at all. I do feel like this is going a little better. I feel like I'm stacking them up better, if nothing else. But we are still eating a fair amount. Honestly, I think bringing the blood switch is probably the best way to make this sustainable, so you don't have to keep making bank trips, but you do have to bank quite a lot anyway here with all the herbs you pick up if you don't have a pouch, so maybe it's not that bad. It is expensive, though. But it is actually giving me better rates than the Scurious right now, so... Ooh, a hard clue. Oh, we are halfway through our chins. Looking at around about 145k an hour on average. Seems to have sort of stabilised around that number now. Another axe would certainly go a long way towards making this a sustainable training method. Almost out of prayer. Probably should bring three pots with this setup. I mean, we lasted two full prayer potions before. Like, and we haven't run out of food or anything, so... It's not terrible. I'm just gonna stay till we get too low. I feel like there's one of these that we can kill. I never wanna leave unless it's about to be an axe drop. Okay, let's just get out of here. I'm gonna keep it pushing. Oh, what's the clue? Uh, yeah, that's a decent step. <laughs> the range pot. Kinda just wanna stay till I finish these chin chompers to be honest even without it. Maybe that's bad but we've only got 20 left so I figure we may as well just knock them out right. I mean we're probably gonna go buy more but oh, give me an axe. Give me an axe. Pay for a thousand chin chompers for me. Well that's that trip. We've got half a level so far today, which isn't bad with the amount of XP it takes us to get a level. Like, so far we've gained 
about the same amount of XP as we did yesterday, and we've still got 20 minutes left, so pretty good, right? But it is very expensive. Very, very expensive. Let's see if we can get a little bit of money back out of some of this shit. And I think we've got the cannon money as well that's in the G. No, we must have already claimed that. It's not as ideal as I was hoping. Yeah, I can't even afford the same amount again. Uh, I mean, we did buy extra gear for this that we didn't need, but there's nothing I can really find to sell off. Is this worth it? I guess we'll just get enough for another little bit. Ooh, we are flat broke. We are flat broke. Good job I'm thinking I won't bother with the defense levels until we've at least had another go. Because we would not be able to afford a Serpentine Helm anytime soon. We actually might want four pots, it's not going to harm. Not in my harm our invent space, but who gives a fuck? Should have enough to last us this last 17 minutes at least. Chins that is, we'll probably have some left still. I think we go through like 300 every 20 minutes. I don't know, I'm just ballparking it. Eventually. Well, that is gonna be it. Axe, please. Okay. Well, we got some very good XP rates today. I think we had about 80k ranged XP yesterday, so and at about 100, maybe 110 overall. So we got basically 1.5 times the XP that we got at Scurrius, 150% of the XP, which is good. It's good, but we spent two mil. So it's not really sustainable. We can't really afford to do that again at all. Yeah. But it was something a little different at least, and it did actually get us very decent rates. In fact, I think we may as well just sell the last ones of those, because I don't see us going back to do chins again. It's just too expensive. We, we just don't have the money. The good were just broke. Okay, there's a little cash back and our GE nice and clean. We have 446k. Not a great deal. Not a great deal. We do still have the blessed dehyde though that we won't be taking into raids so we will be able to sell this although to be honest a part of me is considering replacing our dragon boots with the dehyde boots it does give us four less melee strand throughout the entirety of tombs which might be bad but it gives us eight extra ranged accuracy and i'm wondering if that might be worth it an extra prayer point as well oh, extra prayer bonus even but yeah, I'm thinking the extra range accuracy might just be worth it, especially if we get to Warden one more time and, and like it's 10 HP again and we're just not hitting, then I might try bringing some Blessed Boots instead. As it stands, we got a lot of the way towards level 79 today. It's looking like we're about, I think about 200,000 XP from... Oh, there's no range tracker in here. Probably around 200k left to go, 45k to the next level, and then, yeah, above 150k to the, the at level 80 after that, so... Maybe, like, two days at Scurrius. I can't think of any other ways to get ranged levels, really, at this stage. It just seems like our best option, outside of Chin Chompers, which we've just, you know, done, and we can't afford to do any more of. I basically did as much as I could of those. So, yeah, it's about where we're at. Good day, 165k gained, 2 mil lost, slash spent, but I'd say it's probably, probably worth it. If we had more disposable income, I probably would do more, but we don't. And I'm going to stop repeating myself now and sign off for the day. So, if you enjoyed the episode, please do make sure to leave a big fat like on it for me, and leave a comment down below. Give me an idea for something other than a scurries to do tomorrow so that I have to give you a boring video. Ah, oh, I love that I'm just advertising my videos as boring. I don't know. I'm entertaining enough. Maybe I'll do a dance. Who knows? I probably won't do a dance. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you stay tuned for all the latest upcoming content. And never forget to look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.